This is a prayer, but it is also a message. Many times during a week, we receive messages about breakups and how people are just torn apart inside. I can relate to this because back in the 1970s, I had someone leave me. And I literally was so sick, I couldn't get off of the sofa. I was shaking all over and just couldn't eat, couldn't do anything for a while. And then looking back, as it always is with God's blessings, now I thank God for that experience. A relationship has a magnetic pull. Imagine there are two magnets here. When you try to pull them apart, the greatest resistance when they'll want to be pulled back together is when they are about to separate. This is true of all relationships, even bad relationships, that should be separated. The greatest pull is right when you, your soul, is about to break free. When you are going through this time, I ask you to go to God and realize that your relationship with God is never broken. And this is what we're going to do right now. Allow me to speak for you. Dear God, as I go through this breakup, I ask that I will know more of you than I have ever known before in my life. Infill me and show me in my mind's eye what is to face my future. That my life is not over. That this is not a period in my life, but simply a comma. That good will come and that good is coming. God, I ask you to bless my life in new ways where you haven't before, or at least I've been too busy, preoccupied to realize those blessings. Fill my life with new friendship. Send friends to me to associate so that I can have a strong support group. Not to go out and have a pity party, but to go and be uplifted. And keep me, God, active in life itself. Get me off of the sofa and get me back into life. Help me to realize again what I love to do and motivate me so that I do these things. I am ready and I am willing, God, to have a greater relationship with you. And I am willing, God, and ready, God, to have a greater relationship with others. I do not focus my energy in one direction or put all my eggs in one basket. I realize that, God, that good is coming, that good will be restored, and that I can be uplifted. I do not put my worth totally invested in another human being. And if they reject me, I have the spiritual strength to pray for their happiness. I have the spiritual strength to pray for what they need in their life, and I love them enough to do this. And God, I pray in this moment of time that you will bless both of us. Help to eliminate my pain that seems to be ever increasing. Help to to stop this magnetic pull inside of me. And God, I pray that I am eased and comforted and this grief is healed. I pray that I'm infilled with your love for myself and for all others, including this significant one. I pray that I become a new person in Christ a stronger person, a better person, a happier person. And that is the last part of my prayer, God. Bring me back happiness again. Make it happen today, and I agree, God, when it comes, when joy knocks on my door, I do not reject it. I let it in. I let it become part of me. I let myself laugh again. 
I let myself laugh behind my tears, smile behind my frown, and allow my reinforced soul to take over with your power and your touch. God, I ask for a profound healing that I will remember for the rest of my life. May this be a turnaround for good, and with total trust in you, I know, dear God, that the best is yet to be. In Jesus Christ's name I pray, amen.